So video switches has been a tool to level up your production, right? If you have multiple devices, right? And you want to showcase products and services on live streams, or if you're doing a podcast with multiple guests and you want to switch angles between multiple guests, or you're a gamer and you have multiple HDMI devices and you want to do picture in picture for gameplay, right? Or if you're a beginner and if you want, you setting up your studio and you want to get a video switcher that doesn't break the bank because you know what? Stuff costs a lot of money. Well, this video switcher by MT Vicky may be the switcher for you. Now you could connect this to OBS to record. You could uh, live stream on YouTube, do Skype and Zoom and more. This switcher has some unique features at a fantastic price. So let's talk more about it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up, guys? This is Eric back with another video. So as a person that started to love video switches, I'm excited when MT uh, Vicky hit me up and asked me to test out their video switcher. Now, this thing is very good, a very good option for beginners to as looking for a switcher to update game. So you know what? Let's go to talk about the MT Vicky here. And uh, let's, let me show you a demo about it. So let's go. All right, guys. So let's go to talk about the unboxing experience. First, when you look at the box, you got live streaming switcher here with the picture of the product here. So when opening up the box, open up the box here, you are greeted to the device itself, right? In all plastic. And you have the user manual. You have a uh, ethernet cord and you have a power cord. All right, so here it is. So let's go to take a look at this real quick. When you take it out of the package, uh, you see the device itself. Now the device is all plastic, got a nice solid build uh, to it. You got fans on both sides. You have your USB out to your computer. You got all the goodness in the back. Four HDMIs, also with a uh, multi, HDMI out and a program HDMI out and the Ethernet plug is going to be for the control module when you connect this to your computer. You got microphone one, microphone two, you got audio in and audio out, which is absolutely marvelous. So when you turn it around and look at the back, you can mount this, which is absolutely amazing. So this thing here has been well thought out from beginning to end. And it feels really good. Not too heavy, but uh, yeah, this is going to be your unboxing experience of the empty Vicky. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. So the empty Vicky is a video switcher that has a four HDMI inputs with a resolution that can broadcast up to 1080p 60 frames per second. You have two HDMI outputs. You have two microphone inputs audio input and an audio output uh, and a control port. Also, you have a power port. Now on the side of the empty Vicky, you have a USB-C port to connect to your computer. All right, guys, so let's go over the empty Vicky, right? This switch is pretty unique. First of all, the build quality is pretty solid. It's all plastic build. It's pretty lightweight. Uh, now you got a lot of buttons here. We could go over it, right? First, Right in the back, uh, I do have a mic input coming from a Norman MT48. Uh, so I got my input here for uh, volume. I got four HDMI inputs here. I have two HDMI outputs going out to these two monitors. One of the unique thing about this system is that you have the ability to have program out and you have preview out, which you have your multi view which is absolutely nice. So you can connect two monitors. The program is what the viewer can see and the preview is what you can see, which is really nice. So you can know the difference. Now this cord right here is going out to uh, the computer and I'm recording in OBS right now. 
just so you know. So you got your top buttons here at the top. You have your microphones. Now, right now, I do have microphone one on because I do have a line in. So I have microphone one on and I have all the HDMI audio off because uh, I do not have any microphones that's live on none of my cameras right now. So I turn this off. This is going to be your audio section. Now, these are going to be your, your function buttons uh, that you can reset and stuff like that. Uh, but this is your audio section. And once you connect your audio, you are done. So right here is basically what you're going to be working with. You have your program feed and you have your preview feed. So just in case I want to see something. So like, let me go to switch to another angle right here. All right. So here it is, right? This is going to be my preview and this is going to be my program. So my preview is what I'm seeing, but it's not live. So I can go to my preview and click on any one of them I want, right? And it, but you won't see that. But as soon as I click here, right? Now you see me number two. This is going to be number three, which I got a camera right there. Number four, right? And so I have all four here, which is my top down shot. Uh, and you have, so this is very important, but let's talk about pitch in picture, which is pretty neat. All right, so this save you a gamer, right? And uh, you want to show yourself and uh, show the game at the same time. You click on pitch in picture, okay? And go live on pitch in picture. Okay, so here it is. This is pitch in picture, okay? And pitch in picture is designed if I wanted to just say, I wanted to show you guys something, right? Or uh, play a game of a live streaming and I want to do a product review or something and I want to have myself picture in picture, which is pretty nice. Now I got my side angle here and I got my top angle. Now in the menu system, you can make all your adjustments accordingly. So right here at the top, I have my menu system and I'm on picture in picture. And so if I wanted to change some stuff, if I wanted to go up or down or something there, I could do that. Okay, see, I can move my picture around here. And as you can see, I'm moving to the left, move it to the right. Let's go back. Okay, go back to zero here. And you could do all of this in the settings. And we could go over the settings a little more. And uh, so I could do this. I could go up and down. Uh, I can change the height, change the, the size. So right now it's medium. Okay. As you can see that the box is medium, the box is uh, large, and I can go to a very small box. So the box is small right there. You can see that box is small. Okay. So I want to keep that box medium and uh, go from there and get out of here. But when we go to the audio, okay, and I'm going to kind of get out of picture, picture a little bit. I want y'all guys to see here. Okay. Now I'm in the menu system here. Okay. And I'm going to exit out of this. Okay. I want to go to the audio. Okay. And the audio, which I am recording, get into that a little bit. So y'all guys can see a little bit. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm in the audio and in the audio menu, I can make all my changes and uh, I do have one, the microphone connected. So you do see something in the microphone right there. And they have microphone one, microphone two, you got audio in, audio out. So what happened is if, if I have a smartphone, I can connect to audio in and I can have audio out going to something else. Uh, but right now I have all my audio rolling right here at the bottom and I'm using only one microphone, just so you know. All right, so let's get out of here. And I showed you guys the picture in picture. Now you could do filters, right? Um, and right now I'm not doing any filters and I don't have any still images and audio uh, follow video uh, stuff like that. I don't have any of that going on. So we go get out of that. Okay, get out of that. All right, so that's gonna be the uh, settings. So let's talk about transitions for a second. And once I do a transition, I could do an auto transition, right? 
and go back. That is pretty neat. Now, the, what happened is whatever is in program preview is going to go to program where you click on one of these buttons. That's going to be your transition. Now, they have about four transitions here. Not a lot of them, but, you know, it's pretty neat. I'm going to hit auto. And as you can see, that is pretty neat. And if I want to go up. Now, they don't have a, um, a T bar, but the auto, it works pretty good. And uh, we go side. Okay. Which is nice. Nice. <laughs> and it works pretty well. Uh, so this is going to be all the settings here of your MT Vicky. It's a very easy device to work with. I don't have any stills right now. So if I had stills, I can work with the stills, but I don't have, and I can do my matting, uh, but I don't have any chroma key, which right here is going to be a chroma key section. Right, if I turn that on, by the way, you can see that it's trying to chroma key me out and uh, not happening. <laughs> so not happening. Right. Uh, so that's that's going to be your green screen effects. Right. And uh, but right now I don't have any green screen. So this is going to be your your uh, chroma key. In. I don't have any uh, nothing green screen right now, but that's that's pretty neat. So here's my conclusion at under three hundred dollars. This is a great switcher. It has all the basic features that you need to get a full production out of it, which I really like. Now, the only thing that I would say, some of the things that you need to know, right? At this price point, it's a lot of things that you need to consider. Now, if you want to record as a content creator, you have to use something like OBS to record in due to his, this unit not having no internal recording. You need to know that. Also, there's no super source and there's no direct streaming. So you cannot direct stream from this device, which at this price point, the ATM mini does not have those features. But what this device has that the ATM mini don't have is that it has separate buttons for preview and program. Plus it has separate HDMI ports for preview and program, which is great. Uh, and it has chroma key and everything else in between. So look for the price point it's the MT Vicky is a uh, video switcher that you might want to consider. Uh, but overall I like this switcher and I would definitely recommend it for the price. I will leave all product links down in the description below. If you want to check out this video switcher, this is like the tech preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the MT Vicky in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.